Live. This is South Florida Today on NBC6 HD. All right, Natalie, thanks so much. Don't you just love watching the Ellen DeGeneres show right here on NBC Miami? It's at 5 o'clock. Well, our next guest has aspirations of performing on her show. Here to tell us about this weekend's The Ellen Art Show and how he plans to getting her attention and getting on his on her show is artist Renda Ryder. Renda, uh, you're a big fan of Ellen, and um, you're also a poet, and you're hosting a really big event this weekend. 30 local artists have painted portraits of Ellen, and it just so happens uh, she's a fellow Aquarius, so as am I. Her birthday's <laughs> next week, yep. and you're hoping to surprise her with a big birthday present, right? Yep, that's what I'm doing. The, uh, the Ellen Art Show is an art show. This Saturday, we're going to be displaying 30 paintings of Ellen, all original, all South Florida artists. What I brought with me today is five different examples. But um, the reason I'm doing the art show is to kind of drum up attention for my bigger goal, which is to perform one of my poems on her show, hopefully on Valentine's Day. But that's kind of the purpose of this, and also to promote all the local art and to celebrate her birthday. Yeah, absolutely. And what, why does Ellen inspire you so much? Why do you want to perform your poetry on her show? Uh, really, I guess it's just because I'm a huge fan. I, I watch her show almost every day. I don't watch a lot of TV, but that show kind of fit into my regiment easily, and I just find her to be hugely inspirational. Yeah. I think she's funny, she's positive. I'm a regular guy like anybody else, yeah. and I go through life's ups and downs, but I try to always stay positive, and she reminds me of that. All right, well, good stuff. You're gonna inspire us now with your poem. This is the poem that you want to perform on her show. This is it. Yep, so you can listen to it right now, but I'll tell you that the Ellen Art Show is this Saturday from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. at the Gab Studio in the Wynwood Arts District in Miami. For more information, you can call Renda at 310-404-4184. Admission is free. You could also check them out on Facebook. All ages can come, so make sure and check it out. Renda, take it away. The floor is yours. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm feeling pensive. Extensive time is spent, bent at the angle of a swan's neck, a half of a heart wholeheartedly searching for another swan's neck to connect. Symmetrical feather covered flesh representative of the love that I long to possess. Two long necks, curved arcs, even when apart, hearts start to mesh. Now it may sound far fetched, but a starving heart only fed Carnal sex targets love, but misses and starts to starve to death. Now keep the swans together, yes, hardened by the test, but softened by a tender heart within the dark depths of a scarred chest. Hardly any heart left. Daily denial of swan death. The city is a beast, and its heart is Central Park, where these two swans rest, well rested, protected, untested by city neglect. And we are the swans. The swans are us. And right between the eyes we touch. See, it's a complete picture. Now picture this. A picture perfect bliss exists on Swan Lake, if I'm not mistaken, miss. So act upon fate and see how the swans relate to this. Bare feet dangle in the lake by the fish, just beyond the stairs and the fountain, high but grounded. The square peg didn't fit, but the square peg rounded when it found this. It's rare, but I found it, and I pronounced it like this. Love. And the swans heard us, and they swam over to us, and they gave us a kiss. Nah, wait, that never happened, because I just imagined it. You see, you don't exist. This poem is just a wish. You don't exist. You're just ink in a pen held tight in a closed fist. You don't exist, but the swans do. But what do the swans do in the winter? They leave the lake heartless. Hearts break bitter. The lake can't take the litter, and I can't take the fate of a quitter. But I give up, because next summer, the swans might not show up or I might not be there to see them. I guess it was wrong for us to try to be them. So I'm left half-hearted. <laughs> 